so behind you there's a field that you've uh, that you've ripped up and you will replant so talk to me about the the whole process from rootstock to clones to varieties okay. about planting a new field and what you look for how do you do it okay well of course every every grower has his own ideas and of course you how he how he wants to grow grapes what variety he wants to grow uh, how he's going, what clone uh, of rootstock that he wants to put in. A lot of them uh, go by recommendation of expert because all soils are not the same and uh, and some rootstocks do much better on one variety, uh, one style of, of soil as opposed to others. Now, uh, th also there are soil borne viruses that are in the soil, and now they've developed the uh, rootstocks other, other than the St. George that was phylloxera resistant only to uh, the various other uh, elements that that kill the that kill the vine. So uh, it's hard to judge now ourselves. Uh, where that vineyard was planted on St. George rootstock, and uh, I, I think now that they develop some newer, better ones, probably will will end up with one of those, uh, one that probably is not only resistant to phylloxera but also uh, some of the nematodes. And nematodes don't necessarily kill the vine like the phylloxera would, just out and out kills it, but uh, it restricts the growth so that the vine can't produce as well. Probably some restrictions good. What what will you plant that vineyard to grape wise? What variety? Well, that's not that's going to be up to my daughter uh, and, and my son Fred because uh, I, I'm not going to be worried about that much longer.